This is 20 Minute Tech. And it's training for Irving Middle School teachers. This one is on the virtual magnifying glass. A very quick look at downloading a simple program and just using it in your classroom to help kids focus. Virtual magnifying glass is offered by a company called Softonic and it's been around for years and years. It works well on everything XP on up and it's a download that is free. Once you've downloaded uh, the program, you'll find it in your all programs under virtual magnifying glass and you can start it there if you wish. Look what it does. Just a very simple square. You can resize that. The keyboard shortcuts to resize your magnifying glass are control right arrow, control left arrow, control up arrow, control down arrow. To get the virtual magnifying glass started, after you've opened the program, you'll notice down in your system tray is the icon telling you that the program's running. It's a keyboard shortcut to magnify anything. Control-Alt-M will turn it on. Your mouse moves it around the screen. And again, the control and the arrows make it the size that you would like. One of the best uses I can think of for the virtual magnifying glass is displaying web pages in front of a large group. Web pages tend to be very complicated. They also have very small text on them. And it's difficult for anyone to focus on what you would like them to see. So if I use the control alt m and move to where I would like to show, I get a zoom in on exactly what I'm focusing on or talking about. One of my favorite uses is for students to read from the projection screen. A lot of times text is difficult, they're not sure where they should start, and by using the virtual magnifying glass, you can focus on exactly which part of the paragraph you want them to read or which paragraph and narrow it down and make it easier for everyone to see. The magnifying glass can be customized. If you move down to your system tray and right click on the icon, there are lots of ways to um, change and, and the one I'm going to highlight today is the magnification level. I have it set based on what I'm attempting to do. So if I really want to zoom in on something large, I can do that. I'm going to resize it and I'm going to zoom in on the cover of the book. So that is a virtual magnifying glass.